Welcome to the tutorial on LibreOffice Impress, inserting pictures and objects. In this tutorial, we will learn how to insert pictures and objects into a presentation, format the pictures and objects, hyperlink within and outside the presentation, and insert tables. Here we are using Ubuntu Linux 10.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. In a web browser address bar, type the URL shown on the screen. This will display an image. Now right-click on the image and choose the Save Image As option. A dialog box will open. In the Name field, Open Source-Bart.png is already displayed. I will choose the location as Desktop and click on the Save button. Let's open our presentation, Sample Impress, which we had saved earlier. We will now see how to add a picture into this presentation. Click on Insert from the main menu and then click on Picture. Now, click on From File option. A dialog box will open. Choose the folder from which you want to insert a picture. I will choose the Desktop folder. Now choose the picture we want to insert and click on the Open button. The picture gets inserted into the slide. Let's undo the changes. Let me demonstrate another way to insert pictures. Insert a new slide after the slide titled Overview by clicking on Insert and Slide. Click on the Title text box and change the title to Open Source Funny. Notice a small box with four icons in the center. This is the Insert Toolbar. From the Insert Toolbar, click on the Insert Picture icon. Choose a picture and click on the Open button. Notice that the inserted picture covers almost the whole slide. You can change the shape and size of the image by first clicking on it and manipulating the control points. In a similar manner, we can also insert other objects like charts and movie clips into our presentation. Explore all these possibilities. Now let's learn how to hyperlink. Hyperlinking allows you to easily move from slide to slide or open a web page or a document from the presentation. First, we will look at how to hyperlink within a presentation. Insert a new slide after the slide titled Overview. Click on the title and type Table of Contents. Click on the body text box and type the titles of the succeeding slides as follows. Open Source Funny, The Present Situation, Development Up to Present, Potential Alternatives, Recommendation. Select the line of text Development up to present. Click on Insert and Hyperlink. This will open the Hyperlink dialog box. On the left pane, select Document. Then, click on the button to the right of the field Target in Document. The list of slides present in this presentation opens up. Select the slide titled Development Up to Present from the list. Click on the Apply button and then click on the Close button in this list. Again, click on the Apply button and then click on the Close button in the Hyperlink dialog box. Click anywhere in the slide. Now, when you hover your cursor over the text, the cursor turns into a pointing finger. This means that the hyperlinking was successful. Clicking on the hyperlink text takes you to the relevant slide. To hyperlink to another document, let's go back to the table of contents slide. Now add another line item, external document. Select the line of text and click on insert and then on hyperlink. In the left pane, select document. Click on the folder icon to the right of the document path field. Select the document which you want to hyperlink. 
we will choose resume.odt which we created in the writer series and click on the open button click on the apply button and then click on the close button in the hyperlink dialog box click anywhere on the slide now when you hover your cursor over the text the cursor turns into a pointing finger this means that the hyperlinking was successful now clicking on the hyperlink text takes you to the relevant document. In our case, it takes us to resume.odt. Hyperlinking to a web page is similar. Insert a new slide at the end of the presentation. Change the title to Essential Open Source Software. In the body text box, type Ubuntu LibreOffice. Select the second line of text and click on Insert and then on hyperlink. On the left pane, select Internet. In the hyperlink type, select Web. In the target field, type www.libreoffice.org. Click on the Apply button and then click on the Close button in the hyperlink dialog box. Click anywhere on the slide. Now, when you hover your cursor over the text, the cursor turns into a pointing finger. This means that the hyperlinking was successful. Now, clicking on the hyperlink text takes you to the relevant web page. Lastly, tables are used to organize data into columns and rows. Let's now learn how to add a table in LibreOffice Impress. Select the slide entitled Development Up to Present from the Slides pane. From the Layout section on the Tasks pane, select Title and Two Content icon. Select the text in the left side text box and reduce the font size to 26. In the right side text box, Click on the icon Insert Table from the Insert Toolbar in the center. By default, number of columns is displayed as 5 and number of rows is displayed as 2. We will change the number of columns to 2 and the number of rows to 5. Click on the OK button. Let's elongate the table so that the text is readable. Enter data into the table as shown, implementation year and percentage, 2006, 10%, 2007, 20%, 2008, 30%, 2009, 40%. Now let's change the font of the header row to bold and center the text. To change the color of the tables, first select all the text. Then from the table design section on the tasks pane, select a table style. I will select this one. See how the table looks now. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. To summarize, in this tutorial, we learned how to insert pictures and format them, hyperlink within and outside the presentation, and insert tables. Try this comprehension test assignment. Create new presentation. Insert a picture on the third slide. On the fourth slide, create a table of two rows and three columns. In row 2, column 2 of the table, type slide 3. Hyperlink this text to the third slide. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT-MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org.
dot o r g slash n m e i c t hyphen intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Desi Crew Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.